Networking, also known as computer networking, is the practice of transporting and exchanging data between nodes over a shared medium in an information system. Networking comprises not only the design, construction, and use of a network, but also the management, maintenance, and operation of the network infrastructure, software and policies. Computer networking enables devices and endpoints to be connected to each other on a local area network, LAN, or to a larger network, such as the Internet or a private wide area network, WAN. This is an essential function for service providers, businesses, and consumers worldwide to share resources, use or offer services, and communicate. Networking facilitates everything from telephone calls to text messaging to streaming video to the Internet of Things, IoT. The level of skill required to operate a network directly correlates to the complexity of a given network. For example, a large enterprise may have thousands of nodes and rigorous security requirements, such as end-to-end -end encryption, requiring specialized network administrators to oversee the network. Computer networks connect nodes like computers, routers, and switches using cables, fiber optics, or wireless signals. These connections allow devices in a network to communicate and share information and resources. Networks follow protocols, which define how communications are sent and received. These protocols allow devices to communicate. Each device on a network uses an internet protocol or IP address, a string of numbers that uniquely identifies a device and allows other devices to recognize it. Routers are virtual or physical devices that facilitate communications between different networks. Routers analyze information to determine the best way for data to reach its ultimate destination. Switches connect devices and manage node-to-node -node communication inside a network, ensuring that bundles of information traveling across the network reach their ultimate destination. File sharing, you can easily share data between different users, or access it remotely if you keep it on other connected devices. Resource sharing, using network connected peripheral devices like printers, scanners, and copiers, or sharing software between multiple users, saves money. In today's world computer has become an integral part of the business sector for professional activities not only for professional activities but for personal activities also. As technologies have evolved networking came into the picture and slowly from initial wired network technology we moved to this wireless network technology. Now if we will think then we can know that networking impacts everything. Computer network is an interconnection between computers or we can say computer network is group of computers linked to each other which enables one computer to communicate with another computer. It acts as basis of communication in information technology, IT. It is system of connected computing devices and shares information and resources between them. The devices in network are connected by communication links, wired slash wireless, and share data by data communication system. An example of computer network includes let us think about classroom and in class, two friends are there with their own laptops, but communication between two processes is established even if the two laptops are physically separated means they are in computer network. The main difference between peer-to-peer -peer and client-server network is that in peer-to-peer -peer network, each node can request for services and provide services while in client-server network, the client nodes requests for services and server node responds with services. The devices in a network communicate with each other. Peer-to-peer -peer and client-server are two network types. In a client-server network, multiple clients connect to a server. The clients require services, and the server provides required services. On the other hand, in a peer-to-peer -peer network, there are no specific clients or servers. Instead, all the nodes can act as clients or servers. In other words, each node can request for services and provide services. LAN stands for Local Area Network. MAN stands for Metropolitan Area Network. WAN stands for Wide Area Network operates in small areas such as the same building or campus. Network topology is the arrangement of the elements of a communication network. Network topology can be used to define or describe the arrangement of various types of telecommunication networks, including command and control radio networks, industrial field buses and computer networks. 
wire cutter. To cut the network cable of the required length from the bundle, you can use any standard wire cutter tool or can use a wire cutter tool that is specially designed for the twisted pair cable. A twisted pair wire cutter usually includes additional blades for stripping the wire. Wire stripper. This tool is used to remove the outer and inner jackets of the network cable. Typically, you do not need to purchase this tool separately as all standard twisted pair wire cutters are equipped with wire strippers. The following image shows two twisted pair wire cutter tools equipped with wire strippers. Crimp tool. This tool is used to attach the connectors to the cable. Typically, this tool also includes a wire cutter and wire stripper. So if you buy a crimp tool, you don't have to buy a wire cutter and wire stripper separately. Cable certifier. This device thoroughly tests a network cable and certifies that the cable installation meets a special wiring standard such as CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, and so on. This device can check and test total segment length, cross stock, noise, wire map, resistance, impedance, and the capability to transfer data at the maximum frequency rated for the cable. Basic Cable Tester If you can't afford a network cable certifier, you can buy and use this device to manage your network cables. Besides certifying the cable installation, this device provides all remaining functionalities of a network cable certifier. It can test cable length, cross talk, and breaks in the cable. It can also check whether the connectors on both ends of a network cable are properly attached or not. Tone generator and the probe. This device is used to trace the unlabeled network cables. This device comes in two pieces, the tone generator and the probe. The tone generator generates tones or signals and places them on the network cable. The probe detects these signals on the other end of the cable. You can use this tool to identify network cables that run from a central location to remote locations. For example, if you are working on a patch panel or a switch and trying to figure out which network cable connects back to an end device, such as a PC, then you can use this device. Place a tone generator at one end of the connection, end device, and use the probe on another side, switch or patch panel, to determine which network cable the tone generator is connected to. Time domain reflectometer. This device is used to measure the length of a network cable as well as the breaks in the cable. This device transmits a signal on one end and measures the time that the signal takes to reach the end of the cable. You can also use this device to find breaks in the cable. For example, this device can tell you approximately how far the break is located in the cable.